is another word for waste. Yes, such as dead leaves, bones, and poop. <laughs> ah, there's the poop. Hello everybody, Gray still plays, and we're here with a brand new game, Taito Ecology. No time for BS, I want to talk to you a little bit about this game. So this game is a simulation style game, which is of course one of my favorite genres. It's also a biology biome building game, where you try and basically create an ecosystem that's balanced between uh, creatures and consumers and uh, producers and decomposers. So... It's an interesting mixture between a simulation style game and actually like a little bit of a teaching style game. From what I understand though, it's, you know, I won't say dumbed down enough, but it is um, easy enough to understand for most people so that everyone can gain a little something from it. And as lame as I may be, I do like games where I can learn a little bit as well as get some actual fun playtime in. So here we're treated to uh, being able to have a tutorial on and off. I think we're gonna go ahead and have it on. And hey, if you watch this, then I guess you won't have to watch the tutorial if you end up getting the game. The game's only about five dollars, five and a half dollars, I think. And it's on Steam. We have three biomes that we can choose, the desert, the rainforest, and the grassland. It sounds like the developers are definitely trying to get more biomes out. Out of these, I think, well, let's go ahead and try the rainforest. That sounds pretty neat. You can see here that they each have like a precipitation, a temperature, and then kind of a description of what the biome has. Um... I would say that I personally probably know the most about grasslands, but I want to try something new and exciting. And this is just like real life knowledge. I don't know if this is going to translate to the game, but we're going to go ahead and try the rainforest. Also, I'll give you guys a quick update. You guys will notice that I don't have any more videos of Warden. Unfortunately, that game, uh, Warden uh, Melody of the Undergrowth, was giving me a lot of recording issues. Everything from just auto synchronization onwards. So unfortunately, I had to go ahead and cut it. But that's fine. I didn't have another simulation style game in the lineup. So I'm hoping this will do it. Let's create our biome. The basics. Hey, I'm Owlbot. Welcome to Taito Ecology. Here you can grow and maintain your very own ecosystem. This is your biome. It looks pretty empty now, but don't worry. It'll be home to all sorts of plants and animals soon. Let's take a look around. Okay, so this is our little buddy. He's clearly controlled by the um, WASD keys. While moving forward, hold down the shift key to move quickly. Oh, okay, he's got basically a little, uh, a little, uh, sprint button, essentially. Here we are. I guess this is our guy that maybe he'll allow us to, like, place creatures and stuff. Adding life. You're able to add many cool animals and plants to your biome. You'll be able to unlock and learn all about these species over time. Let's try placing down your first consumer. A consumer is an organism that gets its energy by eating plants or animals. Use your impact points to place a consumer in your biome. Okay, so clearly we get some sort of like, I guess I'll call it resources in order to be able to place stuff. This might be normally considered like your gold or stone, but in this game, I guess it's considered um, impact points. These will regenerate over time. Open the life selections menu. I'm liking this tutorial so far. Good, concise, quick. Uh, go to, ooh, these are all the plants. Nice. So over here to consumers. Let's see what we have. We have an ant, and I don't know what that is. Uh, and a moth. Okay. So please purchase a, a goalie territory with impact points. I, I'm probably butchering that friggin' name. Click on the terrain to place the territory. You can drag while clicking to adjust placement. Alright, let's put him over by the river, I guess. Right about here. There we are. Click on the X button to close out of the menu. Well, I'm clicking the X button. Oh, the X button. <laughs> I'm clicking the keyboard X button. <laughs> oh, I'm a terrible player. You have placed your first consumer territory. Animals will only move around within their territory. Try viewing the territory information by clicking on the territory marker. Okay, so you can click on your little marker here. Now, does this thing... Okay, this we do not interact with these creatures at all. Wow, this thing really produces these guys. Um, average health, average hunger, so they're pretty hungry. Ditrius level 1. Ooh, occupancy. So there can be up to 18 and then 194 days before it reproduction. Okay. So click away, and that'll get rid of the territory information. 
click on one of the agutists moving around and see its info. How about this guy here? So he's 48% hungry. Oh, what about a biodex? Oh, this is cool. See, this is what I'm talking about. The, the learning portion of it. Look at this. It gives you the um, the actual species, the genus and all that. Herbivores, they eat primarily fruits, but also consume seeds, roots, tubers, and leaves. See, we're going to need to know that because if we want to feed them something, we're going to want to make sure that they can actually eat stuff. Uh, the primary food source for many carnivores, including jaguars and ocelots. Really, ocelots eat these little guys. Those are so, <laughs> these are so cute. That's unfortunate. I guess they're like little rodents. They often bury fruits or seeds so that they can dig them up and eat them when food is scarce. Some of the seeds are never found again and sprout into new fruit plants. All right, see, there's all kinds of information here. That's so cool. When you're ready to move on, press continue. All right, place a producer. Your agoutis <laughs> hunger bar is low. That means they need food. Try placing down some producers. Producers such as plants make their own energy from the sun. It may be helpful to see more of your surroundings when placing life. Enter the strategic view by scrolling out to gain a bird's eye view of your immediate area. Let's try that. Ah, see, this is your top down style of, uh, of looking. And then you can kind of move with your mouse wheel. All right, let's go ahead over here, select a producer. And then we're gonna place three fern groups. Okay, let's move in for this, I think. Go ahead and now how do we oh there we are so can we move this around yes we certainly can okay let's kind of move let's get out of this move back a little bit so that I have a bit more a bit more area to be able to place these in we'll put these right on top of these guys I guess and pretty close to the water as well so they want three. Oh, an achievement completed green thumb rainforest gardening is fun and important to your biome keep going oh yeah i don't know what that is uh we get these t points i'm not really sure maybe we'll be able to do something with that we do get some energy though that we can spend which is great because now we can spend even more oh we can have different colors all right let's go ahead and place uh these ones over here i guess here we are oh what happened there it like it like moved all over the place well, it went like across the water there there we go oh i see when it's red like that it's not the color of the fern it's just telling you that you can't place it there because there's like an overlap all right i get it so and then these ones that look like they want to be placed long ways let's see can we can we twist these around at all no it looks like it's at least somewhat random so let's move these guys over here place down our fern plants awesome we've got three fern groups check for improvements you've placed your first producers your agutis should be much less hungry now let's see if their hunger has improved okay now if we remember we can click on this to kind of see the hunger okay now their hunger is at 99 percent so that's great your agutis will overpopulate soon without anything controlling their growth you need a predator oh yeah it's time for the gray fox here to come on in and whoop some agouti buttocks place a predator predators are animals that eat other animals unlock a new predator species by using the taito coins you just earned for your achievement all right so we can unlock creatures as well Ooh. so let's go ahead and spend some earn these through weekly rewards and achievements ah this is a game that actually rewards you for continuous play i'm not sure how i feel about that like i think it's good to have a reason to continue playing a game but i'm not sure oh what is this over here Ah, it's the graphics. Oh, full screen. I'm so happy to see this. I didn't even know that that was there. It wasn't really something that the game went into, like, right away. So it's cool to be able to see that that's there for us. And it looks like we have a bunch of... Ooh. Maximum time that you want to pass in the ecosystem while you're out of the game. Oh, look at this. Game time will pass while you're not even playing. You know, I think that this is a really cool system because if you wanted to, you can actually turn it off. Because they give you that option, this is a great idea. If you want to actually have time pass, you can. And if you don't want time to pass, you don't have to have that as well. That's neat. And we have all of our graphics done just the way we want it. Um, let's see here. We can go there and we can go back. And I assume that it goes right back into where we were. Okay, so it does. So I just want to check to make sure that if you guys ended up getting out of your biome, it saves where you are. And it does. 
So let's go ahead and continue. Open the life selections menu. Let's go ahead and do that. So we want a consumer. And now we want to unlock the ocelot using our coins. Oh, it's only one coin. Well, that's nice. Spend the coin? Yes, I do think so. Now, where do we want to put this territory? I mean, like, do you do we want it, like, super close to these guys? Or, like, kind of far away from these guys? I'm really not sure. Let's see. Now, they only move within their territory. So, I guess we'll give it, like, a little bit of overlap. But we won't put it, like, right in the middle. You know what I mean? There. We'll put those guys there. When you're ready to move on, press that. Let's... Can I learn a little bit about these guys? Let's continue. Balanced ecosystem. Awesome. With a predator around, prey animals won't overpopulate your ecosystem. Great job. Yes, continue. Ditrius. Now that you have a few inhabitants in your biome, be careful about Ditrius. Ditrius is another word for waste. Yes. Such as dead leaves, bones, and poop. <laughs> ah, there's the poop. I was waiting how they were going. I was waiting to see how they were going to mention this. Allowing too much detritus to build up will harm everything in your ecosystem. Place a decomposer. This is where decomposers come in. Decomposers break down detritus into nutrients that can be used again by producers. This keeps the cycle of life going. Let's add some now. So that's your earthworms and stuff like that. What do we have over here? So we have mushrooms, millipedes, and there's the earthworms. Okay, see, I know a little, about, a little bit about what I'm talking about. Now, it says place a mushroom territory near the agutus territory. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's place this. We're going to give this... Okay, so there can't be too much overlap between these two. Let's kind of overlap right about here. And that has interactions with all of our creatures. There we go. Now we have some mushrooms. Decomposers. All right, your decomposers will consume some ditrous every day, but only from the plants and animals within its territory. If your biome starts creating more ditrious than your decomposers can handle, you'll need to add more decomposers. Excellent. The flow of water. Congrats. You now un oh, the flow of matter, not the flow of water. Congrats. You now understand the basics of maintaining an ecosystem within all three elements. Producers, consumers, and decomposers. Sweet. Now, if we wanted to, it looks like we can speed up time in the ecosystem by pressing this button. Okay. Oh. All right. Let's 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 go back to normal then. Continue. Pause and resume in the ecosystem with this button. Yes. Achievement completed. Circle of life. Animal eats plant. Decomposer decomposes animal matter. Plant uses decomposed nutrients to grow. Just like, just like rock, paper, scissors. That's a good way for kids to understand it. All right. Man, we're going to get 100 energy from this, and we're, like, already at 100 energy. We do get 10 of these little tokens, though, to buy new things. Pause and resume. There we go. We got some coins there from that. This is the average of the health of everything in your biome. Oh, 100%. We're doing great, guys. Name your biome. If you need help or forget anything you just learned in this tutorial, try checking the bio decks for answers right now. Your new biome needs a name. What do you call it? Ooh. What should we call this, guys? We're going to call this... Grayberg. <laughs> I don't know. That should be fine. Um, yeah, so let's do that. Oh, there we go. All right, you just had to press enter. I kind of kind of couldn't figure that out but like the the audio stopped and I was a little afraid that the game had crashed but it looks like we're still doing good photo view you can take a picture of your ecosystem at any time by using photo view yeah all photos you take of your ecosystem will be saved to your computer's photo library folder that's neat too there's a lot of cool options here so we've got our first biome let's take a little look at like some of these guys real quick so you can go over and click on each one of these creatures like the ocelot territory and if I remember correctly Scroll your mouse wheel up all the way to enter the camera view. Oh, I wanted to read about these guys a little bit, but I guess we'll go ahead and continue to complete the tutorial here. All right, we've scrolled all the way up here. So now what? Oh, all the way in to enter the... Oh, oh everyone's asleep. Those cute little guys are all asleep. Scroll your mouse wheel up all the way to zoom out and return to Owlbot view. All right, I got it. It's a good thing that this tutorial is here. Otherwise, I would really be in a bind. 
Let's begin. Awesome. Now you're ready to keep building your own ecosystem. You can either experiment, balance, and grow your ecosystem freely or work to earn achievements. The choice is yours. Well, guys, that is the beginning of our cute little ecosystem here, and I think it's doing really neat. Now, I wanted to... Okay, so in order to learn about these different little guys, you have to actually click on the creature itself, and from there, it looks like we are able to um, click on the actual creature. Now, it doesn't look like there's any occupancy here at all, so maybe if we fast forward a little bit, we'll be able to get some creatures going here. I'd like to see some ocelots appear. Ah, there's one. Let's get off of this and click on our little ocelot and go to the biodex and see what it has to say. The ocelot is a strict carnivore. Though, they, though they're on the small side, they are highly efficient killing machines. Larger animals like tapers don't have much to fear from ocelots, but small and medium animals, animals better watch out. Predators, though ocelots are key hunters, they also are hunted from time to time. Large predators like eagles and jaguars will prey on ocelots, both young and adult. Cool. Note, since ocelots can only take small prey e efficiently, they hunt rather often. It is, it is estimated that an ocelot will make a kill every kilometer it travels. Holy cow! Their, their reproduction is clearly very, very slow, and their lifespan isn't that great, and their size is, I guess, right on the medium side of things. I assume that's what that means. So there we go, guys. We've got these, we've got the ferns, we've got some mushrooms, we've got some agu agaudis, I guess. And then we've got some ocelots, and it looks like they're all intermingling well. Our biome's at 100%. Guys, I hope you're really enjoying Taito Ecology so far. This seems like a pretty neat game to get the chance to like get in and play and have some fun in. Not, you know, not like crazy action, blood spattering, guts everywhere, but more like just something to actually have some fun with. So if uh, you have anything that you want to see me do in particular in the game, feel free to leave a comment below. Until the next time though, guys, stay foxy and much love.